In elementary school, you might have done an activity where you sorted objects into objects that were attracted to magnets, like this iron nail, and objects that were not attracted to magnets, like this grape. But take a look at this. I just repelled that grape with a magnet. Hi, I'm Paul Doherty from the Exploratorium Teacher Institute. And today I'd like to show you an activity named Magnetic Fruit. So one interesting thing, of course, is that the white north pole of the magnet attracts the iron nail, and the black south pole of the magnet attracts the iron nail. When we bring the magnet over to the grapes, we find out that the white north pole of the magnet repels the grape. And then when I let this settle down again, and the black south pole of the magnet also repels the grape. A couple of things here. The attraction for the iron is called ferromagnetism, and it's very strong. It makes that iron nail leap up against gravity. It's stronger than the weight of the nail. But the repulsion on the grape is quite a bit weaker. It's 100,000 times weaker. So we have to use this torsion balance apparatus in order to demonstrate that weak repulsive force from both the north and the south poles of the magnet on the grape. That's called diamagnetism. We can also investigate the magnetic forces on aluminum foil. Now, you've come to expect that aluminum is not attracted to a magnet. But I've taken aluminum foil, and I've made two balls, and I've put it on the ends of my soda straw. Watch what happens. The aluminum foil was attracted to the magnet. And indeed, both poles of the magnet attract the aluminum foil. This is called paramagnetism, and it's also much weaker than ferromagnetism. So today we saw the strong attraction of both poles of a magnet for things containing iron. That's called ferromagnetism. But in the last 30 years, with the invention of strong rare earth magnets, we've been able to demonstrate the much weaker repulsion of a magnet for a grape or any other kind of fruit called diamagnetism, and indeed the weak attraction called paramagnetism for aluminum foil, something which we learned was not very magnetic using the older type of weak magnets. The rare earth magnets, in particular the neodymium magnets, have been around for 30 years and they're an order of magnitude stronger than any previously available magnet. To do this experiment, you could just use a ring stand, but I like PVC, so I built the equivalent of a ring stand out of PVC. I've got a leg on the bottom and some angles so it doesn't tip over. And I cut a slot at the end of the upper piece of PVC so that I could put a piece of string through that slot and then a piece of tape to hold it in place. I ran that string down to a soda straw and taped it in place. And then I added grapes to the end of the soda straw so as to just about balance it. So this is called a torsion pendulum. And it's very sensitive to tiny forces. The small repulsion of a magnet for a grape or the small attraction of a magnet for a piece of aluminum. It allows us to investigate things that are so weak we could never investigate them any other way. Remember, you'll need a rare earth magnet at least one inch thick. And I suggest 
you cut up chunks of many different kinds of fruit and investigate whether they're attracted or repelled or do nothing when exposed to a strong rare earth magnet on a torsional pendulum. Have fun!